Hey guys, L Bomber one one two five five right here. I'm trying to I'm making What What do you want? Peace to you, K Town. It's L Bomber one one two five five back here with another video. I know it's been a while. Uh, I've had uh, some medical and personal troubles I've been working through, but I'm sure to the excitement of all of my viewers. That you're happy that I'm back and bringing what the people want which is how-to videos so as a follow-up to my last how-to video of how to eat Yoplait branded yogurt products I have another video that was requested literally by a couple people so the demand was quite high for this. So here I have what we'll be talking about today, how to eat Ben & Jerry's branded ice cream products. So the first step to eating Ben & Jerry's branded ice cream products is to buy and purchase a Ben & Jerry's pint-sized ice cream. There are also smaller size flavors and maybe even larger flavors, but this is what my mom bought me. I believe it was on sale, so I didn't have a say in the flavor. Uh, as you can see, it is called Urban Bourbon. I believe it is non-alcoholic. I certainly hope it is non-alcoholic, otherwise my mom will get very mad at me. I don't know what bourbon tastes like. I don't know if this will taste like bourbon, but it is going to taste like one thing for sure frozen cream all right so first step to eating Ben & Jerry's branded ice cream products is to break the seal and open the top so it seems a little tricky I don't really have fingernails right now my mom clipped them last night so what you're looking for is there's a place on this impenetrable plastic seal that has some penetration on it. And that's where you want to you want to find where it's been fully penetrated. And that's you can, you can it'll be really easy to pull. So I have tracked that down. I don't know if you can see right there oh, where my finger is. You can see a bit of it, you see there's full penetration right there so you want to pull right on the penetrated seal easier as, as they say uh, easier said than done success now there will sometimes be a little bit left you can pull that off right here and you should tear it. Tear it uh, for, for the dolphins. Saving lives here at L Bomber 11255. So, next is removing the top. Fairly simple. We have a, a nice brownish color being shown off here and then the next step is the other item you need a spoon or eating utensil and then you take your spoon like so position the lid at an angle and then scrape you want to get all of that good like you see this Clearing off the top, that is about a half spoonful that would have been missed if you wouldn't do that. So, 
and then you eat it. I taste like bourbon. I don't know. So now we continue along and we'll take our first spoonful. Now, when you take it, maybe you want a smaller size, maybe you want a larger size, but it's ideal to move it around your mouth to get the flavor on as much as possible. Oh. Mm. That's a 10. This was very good. Uh, rewinding a bit, another tip that might be relevant to your eating of Ben & Jerry's branded ice cream products is whether you want to put out your ice cream for a bit before consuming it, maybe heat it up, make it easier to power through with your spoon, it's really your call and your preferred eating style of your ice cream. So now we just continue. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. bad. I, if you have sensitive teeth, maybe don't. Or so we can just continue eating the ice cream like so. Now, I also highly suggest that when eating Ben & Jerry's branded ice cream products that you wash it down with a little something. So, my beverage of choice is cow's milk. Now, I know my dozens of fans out there, you may be wondering, L Bomber 11255, are you not lactose intolerant? What about what happened in your video of how to eat? Yo play branded yogurt products. I first would like to say thank you for your concern. I am glad to count you amongst my friends. You may not think we're friends, but I believe we are friends and do not please do not take that out for me. It's <coughs> It's 
So, yes, I am lactose intolerant, but in order to bring the good word to my subscribers, I know this specifically for Greg. He's my number one, also my only subscriber. This video is for you, Greg. So I have taken my lactose pill so that I can pursue the truth and provide knowledge in this very important video. So, to you, Greg. So, now we can continue with our ice cream, alternating between milk and ice cream. Oh, I mean, milk and ice cream, dairy and dairy. That's a callback for you, Greg. Hold on a second. Um, uh, so, uh, Mom, could you just cut right here? Yeah, just cut, cut, you, you just cut there. All right, right now, uh, and. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation, no break. <coughs> Hello again, L Bomber 1125. <coughs> Five, back here uh, with an exciting development. We now, I just, you might, uh, uh, I, I received a package from the website http colon forward slash slash www dot amazon dot com. Just received this now. It unfortunately interrupted my video about how to eat Ben & Jerry's branded ice cream products, but I think this is an exciting development and something I also believe Greg would like to see, so. And I have worked it into the video. So this isn't really a how-to, this it will be an unboxing and to begin you have to actually open the box to reveal the contents and I have found a lot of the time the best way to open these boxes is like so. Alright, so I'm able to break through the tape and now we can reveal what's in some. Packing material. And now we have here, as you can see, it says uh, um, Persona 5. And if you look up close, it says Taka Take Your Heart. It's, it's, not, it's not actually take, it's Take. It is uh, Japanese. I know. I, I know Japanese. So this, I'm very, very excited about this new video game my mom bought for me. And this is the Take Your Heart Edition. So, 
we are going to do a little unboxing dedicated to our late friend, Greg. Now, important first step, we are going to be breaking this seal. Okay, so now we can remove the plastic. Slide it down like so. Slide it down the, the shaft of the box. So, this appears to be a covering sleeve. So we can slide that up. Appears to be a box with these uh, Chinese cartoon characters on it, um, and they have like ghost people behind them. I'm not completely sure. I have not uh, played the video game yet. I, as you can see, I just got it right now. Um. So yeah, uh, we can flip over to the other side. Uh, these uh, these Chinese cartoon girls, they appear to be very pretty. I hope my mom doesn't get a little more, a little jealous, if you know what I'm saying. I wouldn't want to lose the game already. So now we can. It's kind of like a puzzle box, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, there, there we go. So there we can open it and reveal the contents. So this looks like no, oh, uh, fuck. Oh, okay. Uh, here, uh, Persona Five art book. The yes, that yeah, me okay. So I guess. This version comes with a book. Uh, I got some crap on there. There we go. So, yeah, let's just. Oh, well, I like that. You know, uh, yeah, I like that. Um, oh, um. I think that was a spoiler. I'm gonna put that aside. So now we have here Persona 5. Uh, it's, it's called Sounds of Rebellion. I believe it is a CD that uh, normally would get sent to like a hot topic to be played over like the store's intercom. Uh, Sounds of Rebellion. Sounds like something I would like. I'm a big fan of groups like Fall Out Boy and uh, Evanescence and Taking Back Sunday. I like to rebel. I would call myself a rebel. So this will be right up my alley. And we have a couple of um, little girls. Uh, okay, don't tell my dad. That kind of looks like my dad. Please don't tell my dad. Up next, it looks like we have a dog toy. A little, like, cat thing, dog toy. So we have 
that. This, I mean, this is a pretty nice box. I think you'd really want to get a lot of use out of this. Uh, you could hide. You could hide all sorts of things in here. Uh, your report cards, lewd art books that you don't want your mom to see, uh, hit lists of people you just really hate, like Brian. <coughs> Moving on. Brian. Next we have um a bag. You can see it's, like, it's got a plaid pattern on the inside. It's a kind of nice bag. Take it to me to school like I'm a Japanese student. I'm basically, I basically am a Japanese student. I watch anime and read manga all the time. I basically, I don't need to go to Japan because I basically, I, I live in Japan. I'm an honorary Japanese. Uh, arigato gozaimasu. That means, where is your biblioteca? And finally, looks like we have the game here. Uh, let's see, it's nice and shiny. It's a steelbook design. People are into that kind of stuff. There's all the people, there's, uh, that's, that guy's me. That'd definitely be me, see? Uh, well, he doesn't have a school bag, but we're basically the same. Yeah, I don't know. And here's that, and there's the game. A lot of the game's in there. Might have been weird if it wasn't. Doesn't close very well. But yeah, Steelbooks are I'm very excited about this because it doesn't match my other games and it'll drive me crazy. Because it won't line up right. So that is that's a, a Persona Five, the the Takei Your Heart edition. Like, oh my. Uh, Get it to K? I don't know. Uh, so, mom, you can, we can just cut this. Wake me up, wake me up inside. I can't wake up, wake me up inside. Call my. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Again, L Bomber one one two five five. We are finishing. This is will be part two of how to eat. Ben & Jerry's branded ice cream products. Uh, we had a brief interruption and that has caused some problems. It's when eating Ben & Jerry's branded yogurt ice cream products, it is ideal to not place the ice cream on a heater or in sunlight, or in anything that would result in <clears throat> um, the meltage that we see here. But for my friend Greg, my only friend, and now he is gone, for Greg, this is dedicated to him, we will continue with the how-to. So the final step, and this can be used even if it is not melted, but well, especially when it's melted, you can perform this final step of just drinking to you, Greg. 
Oh, no, it's on my, my favorite shirt. <coughs> <coughs>